Well, good afternoon folks um, it's just after midday 10 past midday local time we are sitting in the Cessna and we are at Albrook Airport in Panama Mike Papa Mike Golf also known as Marcos A. Galabert International uh, we got a 6,000 foot runway off to our right um, I apologize for the pink I don't know why this is happening I get this sometimes on runways and taxiways on some airports and it looks awful and so far I haven't found the solution so I apologize for that but I guarantee things will get a little bit better once we get airborne so today we're back in the Cessna and the idea is today that we will be flying out to um, <coughs> I'm flying out to Contadora Airport in the Pearl Islands. Now I first saw these islands made famous by Bear Grylls when he did one of his Running Wild series of programs and he took Brie Larson who was the um, Captain Marvel girl he took her out um, over there on one of the islands. There are some 200 islands, most of them uninhabited but uh, we'll get to that a little bit more when we get in the air. It's um, about a 20-22 minute flight, 37 miles off the coast of Panama and um, I'll talk to you a bit more when we get in the air. So we're lining off on runway 19, taking off to the south with a left turn, heading out over the Gulf of Panama to um, Cod uh, Contradora. I keep getting it wrong. <laughs> Contadora is the airport, and actually it's the main island. Just get lined up. Just can't. I really hate this pink, but nothing much I can do about it at the moment. So let's here we go. Okay, flaps are set, trim is set, and here we go. So take off and then a left turn out over the ocean, and. <coughs> So we're going odd thousands of feet, so we'll climb to 3,500 feet uh, for the short flight to <coughs> Contradora. Right, once again, thanks for joining me. Here we go. Let's get, get, get into the air. All stable, let's go. Right, try and keep it in the center line. Airspeed's alive. Still have quite twitchy controls here. But we'll see, here we go. Up we go. Really hate that pink. <laughs> That's up. and then we'll make our left turn to pick up the track. Very nice. Okay, coming up on 1000. It's 
still pretty impressive. Here's the airport. We're now heading out over the Gulf of Panama. Okay, and <coughs> so here we are, <coughs> 3,500 feet. Uh, we might have to drop down a bit because of the clouds. I think we might be on the bottom of the clouds, but we'll see. Um, technically VFR in this direction, we should be odd thousands plus 500. Anyway, 24 miles to go. We're doing about 119 knots, so it's not too bad, about 12 minutes. Um, <coughs> So Panama, as you know, is sent from Central America. And um, southwest of the coast of Panama, about 35, 40 miles off the coast, are the Pearl Islands. Archipelago de las Perlas, as they say. Um, this little group consists of some 200 or so airli uh, airlines. They consist of some 200 uh, uh, islands, some small ones and large ones. Many of them are uninhabited which is why people like Bear Grylls go out there. And uh, as I say, there are 48 kilometers or 30 odd miles off the coast of Panama in the Gulf of Panama, which we're traveling across now. The main island, Contadora, is a resort island. Um, there are many homes, homes and properties owned by wealthy Panamanians. They have a large hotel, um, some smaller places for rent as well. Um, the workers that uh, basically look after the resort, waiters and bar staff, they live on the nearby island of Saboga, which uh, we'll also have a look. How do you get there? <coughs> well, typically um, Air Panama will run daily flights to Panama City, but at the moment because of the COVID, I think they're only doing them through the weekend. Um, but they also fly to San Jose Island as well, another of the larger islands. The largest island in the group is um, Isla del Rey, or the Island of the King. It's 90 square miles, or 234 square kilometers. Um, there are several towns nearby, and there's also San Miguel. So, Panama City to Contadora, or, or um, Salboga, you get you can go by ferry, it's about an hour and a half to two hours. Costs about fifty-five dollars per person one way, hundred and ten return. They go out in the morning in the late morning, sort of ten o'clock, and return in the mid-afternoon about half past three. You want to get there quicker and a bit more style, Air Panama flies there. Um, <coughs> it's um Aero Albrook flies from where we just took off, 20 to 35 minutes, depending on the aircraft type. Often they'll use a Twin Otter, or they'll do the Fokker 50. Um, price is up to $275 per round trip, and they use a series of light aircraft, really, for this. So those are your commercial flights from Panama City. All come from Albrook Airport, or from Tokerman, operated by Air Panama. So as I say, we departed from Albrook Airport in Panama, Ma Mike Papa, Mike Golf. Um, runway length is three is 5,906 5 feet, runway 0119. And we're going to Contradora, Mike Papa, Romeo Alpha. Not too far away is San Miguel, which doesn't have an ICAO code, strangely, but it does have a city code, November Mike Golf. And they've got a 1900 foot runway 0220, which we'll also be visiting at some point, so... So Albrook to Contradora, 37 miles or 21 minutes, 
<coughs> which is what we're doing at the moment. So we've got 17 miles to run in about eight minutes. Um, so just to let you know, um, those of you who saw my Bush Pilot series, I did eight videos for Bush Flying in Botswana. Those are all up and available now. Um, and this time we will be doing three videos, three separate flights, exploring the Pearl Islands. As I said, most of them largely uninhabited, um, but they're also a favourite tourist destination for the um, seriously rich or for the local Panamanians that have a lot of money to spend. So we're in the clouds now, realistically we shouldn't be, but we're okay, we can descend at any point. The clouds are fairly thin and scattered. I chose the daytime and these conditions, not sure what the weather's like at the moment. It's kind of difficult to get the weather, actual weather online as it is at the moment. But I wanted you to be able to have clear and unobstructed view of what this area is like in the simulator. <coughs> so once again, we're um, in the Cessna 172, the default one. Many of you know, if you followed some of my other videos, I completely and utterly detest having television screens inside a light aircraft. I appreciate it's new and it's the way to go and all sorts of fancy bits and pieces, but I'm happy to have those in an airliner when I'm flying the big tin, but um, flying general aviation aircraft are really not uh, terribly impressed with that kind of thing. So there are the islands ahead of us. <coughs> We're going to overfly Contradora and go down quite low because it's a very difficult place to land at. The airstrip, if I remember correctly, when I first looked at this, literally splits right across the land. It's uh, like an isthmus. Um, and it's not easy to, make, to find the approach. Um, but uh, we'll have a, have a bit of fun and uh, overfly the islands first, let you have a quick look and then we'll make a landing there. Beautiful day, with scattered clouds there as you can see. Aircraft's in good shape, well, I'd expect it to be. So just eight miles to run now, as you can see the first in the group of islands. Don't know how many um, Flight Simulator Microsoft or Sobo have put together, but I did a brief run around here and the main islands are there and um, I should imagine there's quite a lot to, to see. But uh, the aim of this first flight is to get across the Gulf of Panama over to Cord um, Contradora. He wanted to call it Cordoba. Contradora, <coughs> have a little run around the air area and then make a landing. The second video will take off from Contradora and we'll do an exploratory trip at low level <coughs> around the islands that we can see and see what, what it's like. As you can see, beaches, lots of mangrove. Um, the islands are famous for mangrove swamps. And if you've seen the Bear Grylls running wild episode with Brie Larson, you'll know what I mean. Crocodiles, all sorts of uh, stuff here that you want to be careful of. But, um, yeah, first on first look, the islands and the location looks really beautiful. Some nice little low water lagoons there. Beaches look quite nice. I've got a feeling we might have one or two elevation issues. Now we've got some houses on that island there in front of us. But if we look there, it looks like the beach is going up rather than being flat. Nonetheless, it's a beautiful place. So there's the airport. <coughs> As you can see, here it is cuts right across the island. A couple of places with swimming pools there. A 
Very pleasant. Looks like um, runway 36 is probably the one to land on. Very nice coastline. Doesn't that ocean look beautiful? Looks like a nice place to take a seaplane to. And I uh, can't wait for helicopters. Right, so let's turn south. Another mangrove island. Beach looks better there. But the foliage looks to be quite accurate. A little boat there down on the beach. Very beautiful islands out here. Very impressed. So we'll continue our little jaunt south. there on the beach. That looks nice. Good place for a helicopter or for a, to take your um, float plane. And I see another airstrip right down here. This is the one I saw the other day. Beautiful, really just beautiful. Okay, so we'll turn back. Oh, hang on, before we do that, there's another strip there. Places loaded with airstrips, which is going to be great. So let's um, turn around. see if we can make a landing. I might have to go across the airfield first just to check its position before I then do um, a right hand downwind right base over the sea. In fact no I can see the runway now. <coughs> Here we go, we're going to bring the speed back and see if we can make an approach. I'll take the autopilot out. Bumpy here. And as you can see, the runway is right there. So I'm going to come in really slow. Because it is quite difficult. You have to get this really right. Got a little bit of a wind, so we got full flaps now. Okay, wrong way's in sight, 60 knots. Not sure what the wind's doing, but should be okay. See if I can make a decent landing here. It's fairly shortish runway. 
perfectly adequate for the Cessna and for light aircraft, but um, very deceptive because it's so narrow and such a tiny thing sitting right in the middle there. Gets a bit a little better as you get closer, but it is really. I found it really hard to line up on it when I first tried it. Not sure if you need a special license to fly out here. But anyway, line up looks good. Bouncing around a little bit, so there is a little bit of a wind. But um, looking good, this could be good. So full checks, flaps are full, trim is OK, power is OK, 60 knots, runway's in sight, here we go. This could be one of the best landings. Hey, hang on a minute. Oh, lost it a bit at the end there. Well, it uh, started out as a good landing. Anyhow, here we are. I don't know what Marshall is doing there. Well, welcome to Contradora. Shut the engine down. Welcome to Contradora. This is the main island in the Pearl Islands group. As I said, there's over 200 of them, many of them uninhabited. Uh, just before we go, we'll take a little aerial tour for you, and you can have a look here. joining me folks on this little first little series trip um, hope you enjoyed it um, these islands look like they could be really fun to explore so we'll do three flights and have a look and see what we can find um, they look nice and um, from what I remember from the TV series they're pretty close so uh, yes thank you very much for joining me on this first of the new series of flying out in the Pearl Islands in Panama if you like this kind of thing, please like and subscribe. Uh, it just takes a couple of minutes, costs you nothing, but it really helps my channel to grow. Um, I do at least one flight a week, and well, not one flight a week, I do at least one video a week, 
which I usually upload ready for Sunday around about midday. Sometimes I do more than one. This Sunday, watch out for this video to come out and also um, for the Big Tin admirers, watch out for my departure from Chengdu with Neil in the 747 on our way to Sydney. So, all being well, two videos coming out for you on Sunday. I have a website, virtualairlinepilot.org. Go along, have a look, and um, check the About Me page. You'll find out a bit more about what me and what I do and what I've done. Um, just really kind of started doing videos. Um, I'd like to say special thanks to Neil Warman, who's um, my flying buddy and friend, who got me started into video editing. And now I'm retired. I'm really having fun enjoying this new simulator. And I do an awful lot in Prepare3D as well. So um, those of you who have supported me so far, may I say thank you very much. Happy New Year to everybody, and um, see you in the next video. Thank you very much, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.